All right. Uh, you have a lot of these town hall rallies going on around the country, and particularly this week when Congress is, uh, is off for the extended President's Day week. And uh, what, what happens is a lot of left-leaning groups go to those things, crowd them out, shout them out, and chase the guys who are running them out. House Ways and Means Committee member Tom Reed tries to keep going through all of that. He's been taking on these angry crowds and uh, challenging them uh, one by one. So, you know, give him kudos for that, whether you agree or disagree with him. A lot of these guys hide from him. Um, so, Congressman, could have you. They say they're doing what the Tea Party did to left leaning and even uh, establishment Republicans years back. I, I see big differences, but what about you? Well, you know, I think what you're seeing uh, a lot of times is just people that are uh, angry, who are upset uh, that President Trump won the presidency. Uh, but you also see an organized effort in parts uh, to, to bring the message and try to trap members and get those uh, Yahoo moments uh, where they can run the tapes. So you go ahead and engage them. How does that go? Like when you take a bullhorn like you do here and we're showing from, uh, I guess, uh, last week when you're doing just that. How, what kind of reaction do you get? Well, at the end of the day, uh, I think it really, people do appreciate it. Uh, and we did six hours of town halls on Saturday. We've done 200 plus over our career in the sense that there's a cornerstone of, I believe, representing people. You got to listen to people, and you just have to cut through that rhetoric. Because but I was it's listening to, to some of this conversation. conversation. They don't listen to you. They keep shouting you down. Now, 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 not all the time, and not all of the protesters. But what do you gain? What happens? What, what I gain is hopefully uh, credibility. Uh, I also gain uh, insight when we do cut through the rhetoric. And in those six hours, we had a few hours of good conversation, good constructive dialogue, and trying to understand where each other is coming from. And that's just how I'm wired. All right. Well, I admire that. Uh, but but let, let's switch gears. If you don't mind, the, serving on the House Ways and Means Committee, we're told the, the, the blueprint for a big tax cut, the president says in the next couple of weeks, apparently he's meeting with all his key budget folks right now to crunch the numbers and maybe paid for those tax cuts. We're told that an import tax might not be going anywhere in the House uh, or, for that matter, the Senate. Is that true? Is that your sense? And if it is the case that that doesn't look like it'll happen, uh, is there still an appetite to cut spending to offset whatever you're offering in tax cuts, or should there be? Well, you know, I can tell you, you know, on the Ways and Means Committee and in the House, we are pushing forward. Uh, we have been driving the conversation of tax reform for years now. And until there's an alternative proposal out there, I'll tell you what we're putting in the better way is what we're going to run with. And until we uh, get to a solution where the senators uh, start to weigh in and the White House is going to weigh in here very shortly, that's the dialogue we need because tax reform needs to be done. But if there is no import tax is what I'm saying, I mean, then do you believe that you have to find another way to pay for these tax cuts, whatever the final sum will be? Well, you know, obviously we're looking to, to pay for uh, tax reform as we go forward. Being a fiscal conservative, I'm very attractive to that. Uh, but we want to get tax policy done right, and we want to make sure it's here for generations to come and, and it's producing growth and opportunity. And until there's an alternative proposal out there, this is the, the proposal we're going to put out to the American people. And we're getting feedback. Uh, some people have raised legitimate concerns. And we're about finding solutions, I believe, coming together. We'll be able to get this done for the American people. Congressman Tom Reed, good seeing you. Thank you very, very much. Thank you so much, Neil.